Welcome back to World Crisis Radio. This is Webster Copley here in Washington, D.C. So the conspiracy, the banker's cabal, the uh, illegal action in restraint of trade, combination in restraint of trade under U.S. Uh, antitrust laws, which are applicable, or a pool uh, in terms of Securities and Exchange Commission regulations, an illegal pool to manipulate the prices of securities through concerted action, remember, it's securities fraud. And this uh, focuses then on Mones, Crespi, Hart, and company. They simply provide the venue, a boutique research and brokerage firm. Uh, February 8th, on Park Avenue, filet mignon and lemon chicken on the table. They call it an idea dinner. I've already told you what I think about it. So who is attending? SAC Capital Advisors LP. These are some of these people uh, are veterans of the destruction of Lehman Brothers. They were part of the hedge fund self cannibalization or hedge fund fratricide that we saw in 2008, and they're back to their old tricks now on a grander scale. We also have Donald Morgan, the head of Brigade Capital. That's a hedge fund. We have David Einhorn, the president of Green Light Capital, another hedge fund. He's another prominent veteran of the destruction of Lehman Brothers. And the most significant of all, Soros Fund Management, LLC. Soros. Now, with Soros, we come to a person who has a track record of destroying uh, the European uh, financial coordination. Uh, he, he, this is famous, 1992, in September of that year, we had the European rate mechanism crisis created by Soros to a large degree. Uh, at that time, the pound was attempting to, uh, to set up fixed parities with the, uh, the rest of uh, the European currencies, notably the D-Mark and the French franc, the lira, the rest of them. And... Uh, Soros launched a huge speculative attack on the British pound. He uh, was able to bet about 10 billion pounds short on the pound with the idea that he would be able to uh, exhaust the reserves of the Bank of England and force them out of the European rate mechanism. And this he succeeded in doing. The pound dropped out of the European rate mechanism, which then partially broke up the uh, Result was then that there was a severe devaluation of the pound, which the British government might have wanted all along. This is another story. It's certainly also true that the Bank of England did not defend against Soros in the ways that they could have. They could have made him lose his shirt, but they didn't. They simply contented themselves to, uh, to buy pounds and sell uh, other European currencies. That's not the way you do it. I'll tell you what you do in just a minute. Uh, it was the equivalent of Soros personally stealing 20 pounds from every man, woman, and child in the British Isles. Now, the subject at this February 8th idea dinner on Park Avenue, Shea, Mones, Crespi, Hart, and company, is the weakness of Greece and the weakness of the euro and how to make money out of that. We have in particular Hans Hufschmidt. Of, uh, he used to be from Salomon Brothers, he now runs Globe Up Financial Services SA, London and New York. He says, this is an opportunity to make a lot of money. So what comes down in this idea dinner? Uh, well, that Greece is the first domino, that after Greece come other dominoes. We can imagine what they are, right? Spain, which is already much, much bigger, and then Portugal, significant, uh, Ireland, quite possibly Italy already the third biggest sovereign debtor in the world. That brings down the whole shebang. So we have Donald Morgan, the head of the hedge fund Brigade Capital, is saying that the Greek debt is an early domino to fall in a contagion, contagion that will eventually hit state, municipal, and all forms of sovereign debt. Now think of what he's saying. These zombie bankers and hedge fund hyenas are planning to attack at all levels. They're anti-government, just like so many that we hear from. They're right-wing anarchists, in effect, neo-feudalists and right-wing anarchists. And they wish to attack sovereign debt. So it means, of course, the debt of the United States. 
the debt of the state of California or any state. Pick the state you live in, and they'll attack the bonds of your state, and they will uh, essentially destroy your school system and your police and fire department and uh, your social welfare agencies uh, and everything else, your water systems. <laughs> They'll strip you of everything. They will destroy human civilization in their insane quest for speculative profits. They are eager to tear down the edifice of human civilization. And what are you going to do? Sit on the sidelines and say, yeah, down with big government and long live brigade capital and Soros fund management? I hope some people will open their eyes to what's actually going on here. Um, so they are going to attack the uh, bonds of the Greek government. Um, the other theory, of course, from Soros is that all outcomes of the Greek debt crisis are bad. In other words, once you get the debt crisis going, which by now it's going, it's going with a vengeance, all outcomes are bad for the euro. So it doesn't matter what else happens. It doesn't matter what, what the maneuvers carried out. Uh, it's going to be bad for the euro. I can tell you ways to, uh, to uh, frustrate that uh, design. Now, uh, Soros had uh, been uh, waging a campaign for some time saying that the euro may fall apart, the euro may break up. And you might have seen him this past Sunday on GPS with Fareed Zakaria on CNN, where Soros says, yes, the euro may be smashed into pieces. Why should this be, Soros? Well, he has a theory uh, as a good hedge fund manager, right, if you want to if you want to speculate uh, that oil will go up, you, you go with peak oil, of course. It's a theory made to order for a hedge fund. So here's Soros's theory made to order on the uh, euro and the uh, component part, including Greek situation. Soros says this, the original sin, the fatal flaw of the European construct, the euro and the European Central Bank, is that they've created a common currency and they've created a common central bank but they have not created a common treasury. They have not created a common tax policy. So with no common treasury and no common tax policy, they're vulnerable. And it means that if you can start a speculative run on the bonds of Greece, the bonded debt of Portugal, Spain, and the rest of these countries, you've got them because they can't put up exchange controls and capital controls because they don't control their own currency anymore. They can't do what Mahathir Mohammed did in Malaysia in 1998 to save his country with exchange controls and capital controls. They can't do it. And they can't devalue their currency the way the British can and are doing today to, uh, to stave off short-term collapse. So says Soros, there's the, there's the weakness. There we attack. There we get rich. Back in a minute. 